Dealing with infertility can be frustrating and painful, but don't give up on your dreams of having a baby. Home remedies for ovulation can assist if you aren't ovulating regularly. Getting pregnant can be very difficult. This video gives you 6 ways to boost ovulation and you may be able to improve your chances of conceiving by taking these herbal remedies and adopting healthy habits. However, check with your doctor before consuming herbal treatments. Additionally, talk to your doctor if you've been trying to conceive for a year or you don't know why you're not ovulating. Ovulation is the stage of the menstrual cycle during which a mature egg is released from the ovary into the fallopian tube and is available for fertilization. Usually, one egg is released per ovulation cycle and the egg can survive for 12 to 24 hours after leaving the ovary. If the sperm does not fertilize the egg during this period, the egg disintegrates and gets absorbed into the uterine lining. Ovulation occurs naturally in most women. However, for women who are finding it difficult to get pregnant due to irregular ovulation, certain herbs may help them conceive. Here we go. Number 1. Using Job's Tears. Take a drink of Job's Tears to potentially help you ovulate. Job's Tears has been used in alternative medicine to induce ovulation. While most evidence is anecdotal, it may help you, too. Make a tea of the leaves by steeping them in hot water. You can also take the seeds as a supplement, which may also help induce ovulation. Number 2. Take Evening Primrose Oil. Evening Primrose Oil EPO, supplements are made from the oil extracted from the seeds of Evening Primrose or Enothera biennese plant. EPO is rich in essential fatty acids such as linoleic acid and gamma linoleic acid and it is believed to increase fertility. It should be taken from the inception of the menstrual cycle to ovulation to increase fertility but should be discontinued after ovulation as it may lead to uterine contractions and cause abortion. EPO also helps increase the quality of the cervical fluid which helps the sperm survive longer in the female reproductive tract. EPO is generally safe to use, although mild side effects such as nausea, stomach pain, and headache may occur. Number 3. Drink Green Tea. The author of the book, Women's Encyclopedia of Natural Medicine, Tori Hudson, says that green tea stimulates sex hormone binding globulin, which can lower the estrogen and androgen levels in the body. This can correct the underlying hormone problem and induce ovulation. Overuse of green tea may, however, lead to nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and headache. Women with psychological disorders, stomach ulcers, and kidney disorders should consult a doctor before drinking green tea. Number 4. Go for some acupuncture. Acupuncture is known to help with your hormones. If needles don't bother you, acupuncture may help with ovulation. In some women, it lowers the level of follicle-stimulating hormone FSH, when it is too high. For instance, if you have polycystic ovarian syndrome PCOS, your FSH level might be too high, as well which in turn can mess up your cycle and how you ovulate. The needles used in acupuncture are very small, and most people don't find them painful. Number 5. Get to a healthy weight. A healthy weight supports your fertility. You may have heard your doctor drone on about maintaining a healthy weight, but you may not know your weight can affect ovulation and fertility. This rule applies both if you're overweight and if you're underweight. Aim for a BMI between 20 and 27. If you don't know your BMI, ask your doctor, or use an online calculator where you put in information like your height, weight, and age and it calculates the BMI for you. Eating a healthy diet, full of fruits, veggies, whole grains, lean protein, and dairy can help you lose weight if you need to and may also help your fertility. Watch our other video on how to lose weight naturally stress-free. Number 6. Stop smoking and limit your alcohol intake. You may have been looking for a reason to quit, and here's the perfect one. Smoking can decrease your fertility overall, including ovulation. So put out that cigarette, and ask for help. 
With alcohol, you probably don't need to give up alcohol altogether, but you should skip drinking binges. A glass of wine every now and then is fine, but chugging shots and beers on Friday night is probably not going to do you any favors when it comes to ovulation. It's also a good idea to avoid recreational drugs altogether, such as marijuana and cocaine. Quitting is always better however and easier with help. Support groups can help, as can letting your friends and family know that you're quitting. They can help you when you're feeling restless and need something to do besides smoking, taking drugs or drinking. Lastly, you will be able to address your needs better if you know what's preventing you from ovulating. If you don't know the underlying cause of your infertility, see your doctor for a proper diagnosis. Then, work with them to create a treatment plan to improve your fertility. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video with your friends. And see you in the next video.